The Crown Plaza Hotel was the venue for the 2010 Dundalk Democrat Style Awards. Readers voted in their thousands for an event designed to showcase and highlight the quality and depth of the fashion retail industry in County Louth. Retailers from across the county were honoured and their clothing modelled by some of the brightest and best local models. Female models are selected by the uh, readers of the Democrat in the inaugural Democrat Style Awards. Male model of the year is Ross Gaynor, best known for his prowess on the sporting field. So, why is it a great day for RD as local woman Lavinia Carroll has been selected as the winner in the female section? Choice Awards. Uh, the public vote was decided by our readers of the Dundalk Democrat through text vote and James Rogers and Cody are now going to return and announce and introduce the winners of the public choice categories. The winner of the Women's Fashion Workwear Award as decided by readers of the Dundalk Democrat is McCardle's Boutique from Carlingford. One of the most popular and talked about boutiques in the Northeast, and here to accept the award is Claire McCardle. Now, the winner of the Men's Fashion Workwear Award, as decided by the readers of the Democrat, is Hugh Niels from RD. Celebrating 25 years in business this year, the winner of the Women's Fashion Party Wear Award, as decided by the readers of The Democrat, is Unique Boutique. <laughs> and now we have the winner of the Men's Fashion Formal Wear Award, which goes to Tony McDonald Men's Wear in Earl Street. Welcome by Tim McDonald from Ford to accept the award. The winner of the Men's Fashion Party Wear Award, as decided by readers of The Democrat, would you believe it, it is Hugh O'Neill's from RD. <laughs> Our next award, the winner of the Women's Fashion Formal Wear Award, as decided by readers of The Democrat, is, back to RD again this time, Imbue Bu Boutique. <laughs> Who are these? David RD. So we welcome Katrina McGee to the stage. The winner of Women's Fashion Award for Casual Wear, as decided by readers of The Democrat, is Pulse Pacemaker in Park Street. And here to accept the award, please welcome Susie English. Now, the winner of the Men's Fashion Casual Wear Award, as decided by readers of The Democrat, goes to a flagship Dundalk store that has helped firmly establish the town as a fashion retail force. And here to accept the award, can we please welcome Dermot from McKenna Man in Earl Street. categories and um, awards in this section and as well as awards for best accessories and best shoes and um, before we're going to announce them we're going to announce the prestigious award for the versatility and creativity so as noelle said our first award is in the versatility category in the editor's choice section and this was an extremely competitive one but the winner of the women's fashion award was the morgan store at the marshes and please welcome <laughs> leslie Finney, who is here with us today well done. The winner of the Men's Fashion Versatility Award is a business synonymous with Dundalk Town itself. And here to accept the award on behalf of FJ Murphy Menswear from Park Street it is Fergal Murphy.
Our next award is for creativity, for women's fashion, and it sees the popular unique boutique from Carlingford return to the stage for a second award. So moving on to the creativity award for men's fashion, stays in, Dun in Dundalk this time, and it's the second award of the afternoon to Jim McDonald. So we welcome Jim back to the stage to accept the award on behalf of Tony McDonald's menswear in Erlis Street. Next up to the individuality category in the Editor's Choice section. This was an opportunity for outlets to really showcase something different. The deserving winner of the Women's Individuality Award is Rapport in Park Street. So we welcome to Warren from Rapport to collect the award for Rapport. Now on to the Men's Fashion Individuality Award. And we see McKenna Mann return to the stage this time. So we welcome Dermot back one more time to guide their second award of the afternoon. So the winner of the Affordability Award in the Women's Wear section sees us take the trip back out the road to Carlingford and I ask Claire McCardle to return this time and accept the award on behalf of the Carlingford And we move on to the winner of the Men's Fashion Affordability Award, Michael Lynch's on Clambrassen Street, who have led the way in terms of good value, and here to accept the award is the model man himself, Joe Arrowsmith. And the winner of the Women's Wear Newcomers Award, Pepe at the Marshes. So we welcome Julian Woody to come forward and accept the award on behalf of Pepe. Here to accept the Newcomer Award in Menswear on behalf of Tommy Hilfiger in Erlis Street, please welcome to the stage, Andrea Muckian. <laughs> and we'll definitely the manager of Tommy Hilfiger for the winner of the Best Size Range category in the Editor's Awards, Sally West. So put your hands together for Sally West, winner of the Best Size category. And the winner of Best Size Range in the Male Category in the Editor's Choice Awards we return once more to Park Street to the store of F.J. Murphy and we welcome Fergal back to the stage to collect the award for Best Size Range in the Men's World. The winner of the Customer Service Award in Women's Wear goes to Neola in Rivalin and here to accept the award is Neola herself. <laughs> On to the menswear category for the customer service award in menswear. We welcome back Dermot from McKenaman to accept the best customer service award in the menswear category. <laughs> and the winner of best footwear award is Top Style Shoes from Clambrassa Street. So round of applause for Top Style. Unfortunately, Phelan couldn't be here today and the video link is not working, so we don't have his acceptance speech on. We also have an award for Best Accessories. Yes, so welcome to the stage for Lushes at the Old Bus Station. And the winner of the award for the Women's Wear category for Best Styled, we welcome back to the stage, Leslie Fee from Morgan. So round of applause for Leslie and she returns to the stage to collect the award. We move on to our last award in the Editor's Choice category, and he has a path worn to the stage at this point, but we have to call on Jim McDonald once more to come back and accept the Best Style Award on behalf of his business in Earth Street, Tony McDonald. Winner of Best Style Award, 2010. The winner of the overall Style Award for Men's Wear 2010 in association with Mizzou River Lane is Tony McDonald. Style Award um, in the ladies category. Um, I'd like to call forward Claire McCarthy from McCarthy's Boutique. Yeah, very worthy. Yeah. Yeah. 